This is my intro. This is my intro. Ugh. Problem solved. Yep. I'm so. Hi guys, how are you? Welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for stopping by. If it is your first time here, welcome. If you are one of my sugar cubes, my subscribers, welcome back. I really need you guys to like this video. Just imagine everything that can go wrong while making a video goes wrong. My ring light busted. The bulb just went out. So if the lighting is off in this video, I very, very much so apologize because of the simple fact I have to get a new ring light bulb now because it, it went out. Uh, it took me forever to put my hair in this wrap. It took me forever to put this lash on. But you know what? I still pushed through. <laughs> I still made this video. So in this video, it's going to be a makeup look. I'm going to be filming some reaction videos later and I just figured I just wanted to come up here and do a clean type of presentable face. Nothing too, too crazy. Also, I am a little bit under the weather so you guys get to see how I go from pale to a little bit of color back into my skin. Um, but that being said, please like this video so I know you guys support me. Welcome to all my new subscribers also. And I'm going to stop rambling so if you guys want to see how I achieved this face right here, stay tuned. Hi guys, so starting off with my eyebrows already done, I'm going to hop straight into eyes. I use my e.l.f. smudge pot in the color Cruising Chic as an eyeshadow base. So I use this all over my mobile eyelid as well into my crease. After that, I went in with my e.l.f. Uh, what's this called? Blush and Bronzer Duo in the color St. Lucia and I used that bronzer shade very lightly in my crease just to give my crease a little bit of color and to warm it up. I love warm creases. This is how I pretty much start any eyeshadow look. Then for my lid, I went in with this Wet n Wild pigment in the color Cherry Skies and I'm putting that all over my mobile eyelid. And that pretty much completes this eye. Now for face, my usual suspects, <laughs> my Black Radiant True Complexion Shine Control Primer, as well as my NYX Pore Fill. This is my go-to primer concoction. It works well for my skin type, which is oily, and my face loves this concoction. I'm going to go in with my LA Girl Pro HD Corrector in the color Peach. And my skin has not been the business, in all honesty. I have not been doing my skincare routine. I've been slacking, in all honesty. And if you, I don't know if you guys see that little mark on my cheek on the left side of my cheek. I actually uh, busted the side of my face on my vanity trying to pick something up and now when I was coming back up my vanity corner hit the side of my face. So anyway, I'm blending that out with my Baby Real Technique sponge and for foundation today I'm using my The Ordinary Foundation by DCM in the color 3.0Y, which is 3 point, you know, there's 3Y. And this foundation is only $6, guys. $6. If you guys want to see my foundation review, I'll link it down below. And I'm going to apply that with a brush first. That brush that you guys saw was from my Vanity Planet uh, brush set. And I'm blending it out with my Real Technique sponge, per usual. And I'm going to go in in some areas where I want a little bit more coverage. And I love this foundation because even though it, it is very full coverage, it still looks like skin. Okay, see me applying a little bit more. All right, you guys should know by now, I like foundation, so I'm not even shocked now at myself by the amount of foundation that I apply. <laughs> so I'm just gonna blend it out. Get the foundation off my earring. And then I'm gonna go on my LA Girl Pro HD Concealer in the color Pure Beige. I started using this again. You, know, you guys know I've been on my Sephora collection Bright Future Gel Serum Concealer, but I went back to this and I'm just hitting that in the usual spots. I'm going to be putting that underneath my eye, on my chin, around my nose and cupid's bow, and on my forehead, just like so. 
comment down below if you guys like my homemade mirror. <laughs> and then I'm going to go with my Fenty Beauty Matte Skin Stick in the color Truffle. Um, just to cream bronze. And I'm going to hit that on the perimeter of my face. As well as my cheekbones and down the side of my nose. I chose not to highlight my nose at this moment because I always have to go in the center. After I blend out my uh, cream cream bronzer so I'm blending out my cream bronzer first and working with the LA girl pro HD concealers it actually gets a little bit more opaque if you let it sit for a while so now I'm blending out the concealer underneath my eye making sure to blend that into my cheek contour making sure I you know I'm looking at how my face looks on camera multiple times in this video because like I said in the intro my ring light did die on me in the midst of me filming this so I really appreciate it if you guys would like this video to make sure you know I feel the support you know I feel the love I want to thank you guys so much are you guys really like make my day my subscribers my sugar cubes I lost the clip of me setting my face but um setting the highlighted areas but this is the, I set my highlighted areas with the Sasha Buttercup setting powder and now you see me going in with my Sasha Loose Matte Face Powder in the color Pure Beige. And then I'm just going to dust everything away once I find a brush. There we go. This brush is also for my Vanity Planet brush set. I know I look a little bit, a little bit uh, orange yellow compared to my neck but once this foundation settles into my skin, it looks amazing. Had to fix up my wrap that took me seven years and three days to apply. Now I'm going back in with that e.l.f. bronzer and blush duo in St. Lucia and using the bronzer side. I'm only using a little bit because it is a very deep bronzer. It's very pigmented and it does contain the tiniest bit of sparkle. And I don't really go for sparkles in my bronzer. I go for more matte. I like my face matte because I have very oily skin. And if I want sparkle or highlight, I want to put it there myself. So I'm just bronzing the um, perimeter of my face as well as my nose, making sure to blend it out so my nose contour isn't so harsh. Then I'm going in with my BH Cosmetics Glamorous Blush Palette. I'm going to use that light pink blush that I'm pointing to right there for a blush today. Just like so, making sure to blend it back into my uh, bronzer just like so and now for highlighter I'm using my physicians formula natural nude shimmer brick this is a multi-use product you can use it as eyeshadow I'm using it as a highlighter and I'm gonna hit the usual points of my face I did take this highlighter also in the inner corner of my eyes so I'm just gonna apply a little bit more because you know mama is not shy with her highlighter now I'm all over the place I'm going in with my lip color this is a lip liner from Jordana called sexy mauve and I'm going to be lining my lips. I really took my time to try and line my lips because usually I'm not going to lie. I'm not the best at lining my own lips. But I took my time and lined my lips. And my lips were super crusty. I don't know what made me want to like do a whole matte look with super crusty lips. But anyway, I'm going in with my Silk Naturals Velvet Matte Lipstick in Swoon. This is my first time actually wearing it as a lipstick. I like to use this lipstick as a cream blush. When I do use cream blush, it's absolutely beautiful. So then I'm just going to be blending that in with my fingers so you don't see any real uh, demarcation between the liner and the lipstick. Now this eyelash that I'm applying, it's from, these lashes rather, are from Kiss. And they're the Ever Easy Lashes in the Style 02 and I absolutely love them because they mimic my natural lash better than any other lash I've ever used. Now. You're going to see me struggle to put this one on. When I tell you I was so mad, I was so mad and I literally spent like I want to say a good portion of my life that day putting on this eyelash. Oh, oh. But anyway, I like these lashes because they're natural. Like if you were to see me in person, you wouldn't be able to tell I'm wearing natural lashes. So once I apply the lashes, I'm going to put on a whole crap load of mascara. This is the L'Oreal Voluminous uh, Mascara in the color Black. This is the real OG drugstore mascara. If you guys know a uh, drugstore cruelty-free equivalent to this, please let me know because L'Oreal does test on makeup. But this mascara is amazing and I will give that to them. But I would love to find a cruelty-free dupe. Now I'm topping off my lips with my Black Radiance Br oh, Brilliant Effects Lip Gloss in the color Romantic. I'm just hitting that in the center of my lips. 
rubbing it in like I said my lips were super dry so I was like no 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 Tally you have to put some gloss some gloss <laughs> and this was the finished look so like I said in the intro I would greatly appreciate it if you like this video thumbs it up subscribe to be a part of the fam okay and thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video everyone stay blessed bye